everyone, it's Cece here and welcome back to Doll Fam. So today I am going to be doing an All My Dolls video. So the last time I did an All My Dolls video I think was the start of 2022 which was two years ago and I had I think either 9 or 11 dolls I think it was 11 dolls back then and I now have 25 so there's been a few new additions to the doll fam that I probably haven't updated you guys on. Let's get started. So I'm going to be running through all the dolls, um, their age, when I got them and received them, their aesthetic and then any additional info like nickname. Okay so my first doll was Claire, she's truly me, 55 from American Girl. I received her in 2020 December for my birthday. She's 18 years old, her aesthetic is casual and that's kind of her, all her information about her. The next doll I received was Bonnie, she's a forever doll. She's 16 years old and I received her the same year in December 2020 for a birthday Christmas present. Her aesthetic is boho and she gets referred to sometimes, well her nickname is Bon Bon. The third doll I received, well this is kind of the third and fourth which I received at the same time, was Kira who is the first doll I received out of the two. I got her 2021 in May, it was kind of a half Easter present, half I paid for it myself with my own money as well. Her aesthetic is a bit more that girl and that's just kind of Kira. The next doll I received that same May in 2021 was Mary Ellen. Her age is 15 years old. Her aesthetic is very pink, very diva. She's a lot like Regina George from Mean Girls and her nickname is Ellie. The next doll I got was Bo. I made her 17 years old and I got her in June of 2021 with my own money. Her aesthetic is like a surfer. The next doll I received is Mackenzie, which I made 16 years old and I got her 2021 in December for my birthday. Her aesthetic is a bit more preppy. She's kind of friends with Mary Ellen. I like to call her Mary Ellen and I'm pretty sure it was Jasmine who's coming up later. I like to call them the plastics so they're kind of my little girl group. Um, the next one I received was Rebel. I made her 15 years old and I got her in 2021 December for my birthday. Her aesthetic is more of a dancer. She enjoys to dance and all that and that's kind of all about her. The next doll, my eighth doll I received was Harper. She's 16 years old. I got her 2021 in December for Christmas and her aesthetic is more fantasy. She's very into like reading those like novels like the slaying the dragons and the princesses and that's kind of what is probably more her aesthetic and more of her style. The next doll I received on the same day was Piper. I made her 17 years old. I got a Christmas 2021 and I made her aesthetic smart so more of she's very smart. She does help all the others with their homework, stuff like that. The next doll I got was Courtney. Um, I made her 16 years old and I got her in 2022 January with my own money and I made her aesthetic cottage core. I just felt like she was more a cottage core. I could see her in that kind of aesthetic. Um, but her nickname which I like to call her a lot is CJ because her middle name is Jane. So I went with CJ as opposed to Courtney or I also call her Court. The next doll I got was Ashley. I made her 13 years old so she's a bit more younger. She's kind of like the little sister. I got her in 2022 January with my own money. Funny story. So Courtney arrived. I can't remember what day it was. I have a feeling it was like the 10th of January or something like that. So Courtney arrived and then the next day um, I went up to a big shopping center and I went 
and I actually bought Ashley like I hadn't planned on getting her and I was just like oh yeah these are new dolls they're similar to our generation they were a bit cheaper and I was like you know what I'm, I'm gonna get it so then they were kind of like almost the same day within probably 24 hours of getting Courtney I then got Ashley who I also call Ash as her nickname her aesthetic is more a kid vibe so more probably unicorns and wear pink towels and just imagine a five-year-old that's kind of what I like to imagine her more aesthetic the next doll I received was Amelia who I made 17 years old I received her in 2022 in March so that was a thing I was doing I kind of made her aesthetic more of a girly girl and her nickname is M the next doll I got was Leah I made her 16 years old I got her in 2022 April um it was once again kind of that Easter also paid for with my own money her aesthetic is beach and she was actually my first doll I have gotten off eBay and since then I have gotten four more dolls off eBay so half of my American Girl doll collection is from eBay and half is from actually American Girl the next doll I received was Alex, which I think I haven't introduced you to Alex yet, but here she is. Originally, she had long hair and her name was Sarah. She was an Our Generation doll. I made her 15 years old. I cut her hair. I kind of did a bit uneven though, um, but that's okay. We don't talk about that. Um, I got her in May 2022 as a gift from my grandparents and I made her aesthetic more of a tomboy. My next doll I received was Nenea. She, I made her 17 years old. I got her in 2022, December, for my birthday. Um, I made her aesthetic more vintage. Um, I think out of my dolls at the time and probably still even now, I take a lot of pictures with her. I take her everywhere with me. That was kind of before I went more into searching on the ebay market as well and i just felt like she was one of my favorite dolls at the time even though i don't have favorites i'm still going to call her my favorite doll the next doll i got was marlo she is an our generation doll i received from my friend for a birthday christmas present she is 15 years old and i received her in 2022 December I made her aesthetic more artsy I don't know why the aesthetics I just kind of look at them and I look at the names and their personalities that I kind of picture them for and I'm just like yeah they'd be more artsy or more tomboy or more smart kind of aesthetic that's just the way my mind works don't judge it the next doll I got was Lane so I actually named Lane after the Gilmore Girls character Lane Kim so if you have seen Gilmore Girls you would know what Lane's like and I kind of pictured that for my doll Lane I just at the time really wanted a Lane doll and I was like she suits it so well so I made her 16 uh, I got her in 2022 December for Christmas and her actual name she came with was Rainbow of course I don't think I was gonna keep that name I wanted her to have have an actual name so I ended up changing it to Lane and her nickname is Rainbow the next doll I got was Celeste I made her 14 years old and I got her in June of 2022-2023 with my own money Forever Dolls I think were having a sale at that time and Celeste was a pretty good price so I decided to get her I made her more of a soft girl aesthetic purely for the fact that her hair reminds me a lot of more pastels and less of that darker colors but more of the bright pastel colors the next doll I got was Felicity um, she's 17 years old I got her in 2023 June off eBay um, I made her more of a skater similar to Alex more of a tomboy she's best friends with Nenea so I always 
cool Felicity, like her nickname is Flix. I don't know why, but I think I read it in a book. Um, but I just kind of always call her that. She is a Pleasant Company doll. My 20th doll was Jasmine. I made her 17 years old and I got her in 2023, September 1st. I even have the date from a Forever Dolls sale. Jasmine's aesthetic is Lover by Taylor Swift. I just, that kind of, I felt like suited her a lot. And her nickname is Jazz or Jazzy. That's kind of Jasmine. And then at the same time of getting Jasmine, I also got Pearl, who I made 16 years old. And same time, her aesthetic is Midnight by Taylor Swift. So more of that darker, like bejeweled, all that kind of stuff. Then my 22nd doll was Iris. I made her 15. And I also got her the same time as Jazzy and Pearl. Her aesthetic is more music, so she's kind of like the DJ. She controls the playlist when they go on road trips, all that kind of stuff. My 23rd doll was Baby. So I actually had a lot of trouble with naming this doll. So she's an Isabel Palmer doll who I got off eBay with my own money in 2023 of September. I was struggling so much with her name. I was going to name her Izzy. There was talk of Paris, Matilda. I had so many names. I still have a lot of names. So if any of you guys need suggestions on naming your dolls, please don't be afraid to ask. I literally have a whole notes page, which I've shared with some of my friends, like the Doll Queen, because once you forget a name, that's it might not ever come back to you again so I kind of wrote down every single name that came to mind regardless whether it was for my dolls or just a random name for anything. I ended up settling on the idea of Phoebe or Phoebes. I made her 15 and her aesthetic is Phoebe from Friends and I actually added this when she first arrived um, that she's gonna be Kira's little sister so Kira's going to be her older sister and so I'm really excited to kind of include that in videos. The next doll I received which I have to say is probably one of my new favorite dolls. I'm sorry Nanea but I absolutely love her so for a while I was searching for either a Chris and Maxwell or a Grace Thomas doll and I finally found a Grace Thomas girl Grace Thomas doll, geez, words are not wedding today, um, for a really good price. It was one of the best prices I had ever seen for that doll within that condition. Like her limbs were so tight, like they still are. And like her hair was straight, it wasn't messy. She actually came with bonus outfits and all that kind of stuff. It was really cool. So I got her and my whole point of getting her was that she was gonna be my kind of doll where I'd compromise on a few of the names and the few of the dolls I was looking for at the time. So I named her Lorelai Grace or she's better known as Rory. Uh, I based it off Gilmore Girls, Rory and Lorelai Gilmore. Um, I'm obsessed with that show. It's probably one of my favorite shows. Probably is my favorite show and then Friends is next. Um, I decided to make her middle name Olivia as a kind of a nod to Olivia Rodrigo who's one of my favorite music artists who played her in the Grace Thomas movie. And as a bonus, I even made her Claire's cousin. So. A lot of the information that I'm mentioning about my AG dolls that I've gotten off eBay and even ones I've had previously in this video will actually hopefully tie in to the Six Sisters of Chaos. And my newest doll, who I also got off eBay from the same seller who I got Phoebe from, is my doll Autumn. She was another doll that I kind of had a few name ideas for. I didn't necessarily chop and change like I had with Phoebe. I settled between Sadie and Autumn and I ended up going Autumn and then her middle name Sadie. So she's, I believe she's a Trillimy 33 
from my understanding, but um, I will need probably confirmation on that. So if any of you guys know, please let me know in the comments. I made her 16 years old and I received her off eBay. I made her a fall slash winter bookworm. I don't know. I um, Here's a before photo of her and here's the after. That day I just curled her hair. I washed her hair, curled her hair. And then I also had cleaned her limbs, repainted her lips. And the whole point of getting autumn because I did get her for a pretty good price but I also the seller also had some doll wigs and a really nice AG bag and okay condition um but it was a really good price and I wasn't looking necessarily for a perfect doll um I was looking kind of for a doll where I could customize a bit and I felt like autumn was the perfect doll for that so yeah so those are all 25 of my dolls quite a collection um across multiple brands across multiple conditions new used comment down below your favorite doll brand i'm also very excited to be posting again i'm sure a lot of you have seen one of my more recent community posts explaining kind of what's going on with this channel and kind of a bit more updates but more updates to come soon thank you so much for watching i'm glad to be back and bye for now